Andy, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for inviting us. Andy, let's talk a bit about Believe. What is the competitive differentiator that you guys operate on relative to the rest of the ACMPR landscape? Well, we're very focused on the medical side of things and we're very focused on research. Mm -hmm. Very early on, we actually set up some partnerships with Ryerson University, McMaster, Guelph. Ryerson, we're looking at uh, a program on how to deliver the product. Guelph University, we're looking at the impact of taking marijuana in various forms and how it impacts the stomach, how it impacts absorption. Oh, wow. And, and then in McMaster, we're doing um, a lot of work around how it can mitigate pain. We're staying away from sort of really serious uh, pain in the sense of cancer or something like that, but that nagging pain people have. So there's a, a large research study going on in McMaster at this time. I see. And so are Believe uh, cannabis products being sort of defined or guided by the research, or is the products more or less guiding the research? I think the research will guide the products. I think we're at a stage where, you know, you're just growing, right? Mm -hmm. You want to prove that you can grow a very high quality product, deliver a very high standard. Mm -hmm. um, and as we learn through the research, um, how to manipulate the product, we'll do that and we'll make it better for the medical community. Sure, so is the research that you're conducting in partnership with the universities, is it clinical in nature or is it more just academic? It's mostly, I'd say, academic. Okay. Uh, I think the Guelph uh, research starts to, to push towards the clinical mm -hmm. because of the fact that we're trying to understand the absorption into the stomach mm -hmm. and the impact on the individuals. I see. Is uh, the genetics that you're growing at your facility sort of determined by the fact that you're targeting these specific indications in human ailments? Yes, yeah, certainly to an extent it is. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, again, I think in the very early days, you really try to grow a good crop, try to a few different things. Mm -hmm. So right now we've got two strains growing and we'll add a third um, within a month or so. Sure. And what then we'll start modifying those. Right. What is the size of your production footprint right now? How many patients do you have? How much yeah. cannabis do you produce? So let's maybe step back for a moment. So in May, we received our growing license. Right. Uh, so we've completed two cycles of, of growth. Mm -hmm. uh, we've submitted for testing and, and everything, and uh, we are putting our sales application into uh, Health Canada at this point. Oh, so, so it's brand new still. Yeah, so it's brand new. We've got product, we've got product in the inventory, but we can't sell it at this point in time. Right. So we're in the process of developing how we're going to do client acquisition. Obviously, there's a lot of people out there that are, are kind of the accumulators, or, mm -hmm. um, and we'll work with those. Uh, we're looking at some other ways to, to also get product to patients. We have a very good uh, individual on our advisory board. Dana Goodlow, who works with the retired uh, police officers and military, who we think is a, a key segment going forward. Great. You recently closed a $5 million financing, which, uh, you know, by the standards of the cannabis business now is, is modest right. in scope. But obviously, if you've just received your license, you're not going to be able to deploy huge quantities of capital efficiently right now. What are you planning to do with the money you've just raised? And what are your sort of, ex what's your expansion arc look like going out 12, 18 sure. months? So we've actually completed a second $5 million oh, okay. financing. Initially, the, the financing uh, with uh, Cannabis Wheaton was really intended to fund an expansion, on-site expansion. So we have about a 15,000 square foot building and we are going to expand and build an 80,000 square foot uh, greenhouse mm. on the site. Okay. So we're able to actually, we have enough land to build that size of greenhouse we'll have about 50,000 to 60,000 square feet of growing. So from a cost point of view, that's probably in the eight to $10 million range. Mm. So the initial financing for 5 million was to really kind of kickstart that. Um, subsequently, we're about to complete a financing, um, which the initial uh, amount was $5 million. So that'll give us 10 but I can tell you that it's nicely oversubscribed. We have enough funds now to build the greenhouse, operate it, and have enough working capital for 18 months at least. And that's assuming we didn't, don't sell a single dime sure. of product. 
So where is your growing operation exactly? So we're in Flamborough, which is part of Hamilton. Okay. So. And so is the plan to develop a customer base focused in Ontario and focused on medical? Or are you making preparations for the advent of the recreational legislation July 1st, 2018 as well? Well, I, I think everyone's preparing for the recreational market. And I, I think, you know, realistically, we would be remiss to not prepare for that. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, the, uh, our view is that the, the expansion will give us some uh, ability to play in the recreational market. Our focus will be on medical, though. We're not going to go away from really what we believe in and what we started. The founders were very focused on medical. Uh, they had a number, uh, two of them actually had situations where they had individuals in their family with cancer. I think that turned them to, to the importance of medical, the, the fact that we really haven't utilized uh, this product that can really help people going forward. We're really focused on medical. We will definitely be in uh, the recreational market. We are also um, looking to get licensed for oil production also and extraction. Right. So uh, that will be part of our, our product uh, offering. Okay, great. That's a great introduction to Believe Andy. We'll leave it there for now and come back to you in a couple quarters. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.